So hey, uh, it is a bittersweet day here at News 8 now because we are saying goodbye to our very own Ann Poppy. Now, for those of you who might be new to the community and may not recognize Ann, Ann has been our fearless news director <laughs> leader behind the scenes since 1990 here at News 8. She anchored for many, many years. You anchored for many, many years. Um, but are deciding to hang up your journalism <laughs> creds right now. It sounds weird when I hear you say that, but yes. yes. So first of all, good morning and thanks for being here what today. Are you all, what are you all doing here in the middle of the night? I know. Oh <laughs> I know, right? Um, I wanted to start off by just having you tell everybody why now. Why, why is the time oh, what, here? What a good question. Um, it, partly COVID is being, I was working remote for about a year and a half and the separation from my heart and you people just makes your head start to think about different things and it's time I kind of put my life first. All right. For change. Are you, <laughs> are you sure? Because you know, today's your last day. I know, day, today's right? hard. But <laughs> right. Um, I'm curious what you have seen change in journalism. You, you graduated from UWL. You've been in right. lacrosse for a long time, uh, 1981, um, have worked in radio, have worked at both TV stations here in lacrosse. What do you think is the number one thing that's changed in journalism from when you first started to now? You will appreciate this, the speed. Uh, you know, when I started in journalism, we had a 6 o'clock newscast and a 10 o'clock newscast. And you worked all day to get ready for those two newscasts. And as you know, we have now got a newscast. We produce four hours of live television a day. So I think the speed at which we work and turn news content around for viewers every day has just accelerated. What have you learned about the lacrosse community in oh your gosh. I, I was doing the math, 40 yeah, years yeah. that you've been here. Hart, um, I'm onboarding two new people this week, and I was explaining to them that, you know, lacrosse residents like to pay it forward. They, you know, they pop up and help. If, you tell, if we tell them about there's a need, they show up. Um, and I don't think that's typical of all communities, and I, I think that's such a hallmark of lacrosse. Um, you you are used to asking the questions as and a I much prefer it. Let's be clear. But we've decided, <laughs> Anne, oh to do a little game here with oh you boy. on your final day, and we are calling this pop quiz. Oh, see clever. what we did there. <laughs> do you see what we did there? Um, we've got some music and a minute for you to uh, have a speed round of questions and try to look back on your years here at News Eight. So, are you ready? No. Okay, but Will we're going. We're going to do it anyway. No, yes. All right, Ashley, ready behind the scenes. Here we go. Number one, how many different mayors have there been in your time in lacrosse? Six. Six is right! Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> uh, name one person currently at the station who has worked at News 8 longer Chuck than Ozma. you. Chuck Oldsma. Chuck <laughs> Oldsma is correct. Our chief photographer. Four, I think. Chuck so, Oldsma yeah. is correct. Name one thing you will miss about ne being news director. This is like brief. 9 p.m. calls and 6.30 a.m. calls. Oh, both, right, okay. <laughs> Name one thing you will not miss. Also 9.30 and... <laughs> okay, yeah, like, I thought I covered that. Let me flip flop, yeah. maybe okay, we'll, do, yeah. we'll do those for both. Uh, Name the thing you always keep around to relieve your stress. Oh, my dogs. No, this is an actual in your closet in the office. Oh. Pop, bu pop bubble, 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 bubble wrap, bubble, bubble which wrap, which I packed up yesterday and taking home. So. You're taking it home. Okay. How many presidential elections have oh. there been during your journalism career? Six mayors. I'll say twelve. Ten. Okay. Close. Very close. Very close. Okay. For years, you have kept a steady supply of what candy in your office? Skittles. Skittles is also correct. <laughs> uh, two more. Finish this sentence. My craziest day on the job was. 9-11 and not in a good way. Not in a good way, yeah. right. Um, last question, who is your favorite all-time employee? Uh, I knew this was coming. I. You're correct, yes. it's Jennifer <laughs> Livingston. You are correct, well done. You did very well there. Is there a prize? Uh, there, there, <laughs> the prize is you get to leave the station and no longer have responsibilities here. But we couldn't le let, uh, let you leave without taking a teeny tiny look back on uh, your job and 40 years in this community. So Ashley, our director, has put together a little something for you. It's the most popular diet drug to come along in years, but now doctors are worried it's being abused. We'll have the story in Health News. News Channel 8 strives to give you dependable, reliable, and aggressive news and weather coverage you can count on. We're a small market, relatively small staff, uh, but we like to tell everybody we're very scrappy.
a bouncing puppy by the name of Phoebe. She is our pet of the week. If there's a cuter puppy, I've not seen her. young ones. <laughs> yeah. um, I just, this day is about you and I just wanted to say and let you all know out there. So, uh, you know, Anne is the person when you're 22 years old and you come to the station, um, you walk in not knowing a lot and she lifts you up from the get-go and she immediately makes you a better person and a better journalist from the start. Um, uh, I looked to you for questions when I was 22 and I looked to, to you for questions and answers when I'm 45 right now and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do without you in the office there doing that every day. Um, she has just been a countless leader in so many situations, breaking news and community events and things that we have um, looked to you to lead the way. And you've just been such an amazing friend. Um, that continues. That for the conti record. And that yes. does continue. Uh, we're going to learn to move on without you. And I know you're handing it off to, to good hands, but um, but we will miss you so much. And you've done all of this with just the utmost integrity along the way. Thank you. And, uh, and I love you, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I love you, um, and, and we will, um, we all just wish you well. Thank you, and you promised you wouldn't make me cry, so now I'm mad. I said, I'll, I said, I'll make uh -huh. you laugh, I promise, yes. with the quiz, but I, you know, up to, the crying is up to you, and I'm, I'm trying to keep it together myself. Yeah, it's but been a joy. Any um, last words? Um, so I was asked for wise words, and I don't have any, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, I'm, I feel, still feel like I'm learning every day, uh, and I leave here feeling that way, which yeah. is awesome. Um, I will miss the people, and you know that. It's been a privilege. Same match, right back at you. We love you.